How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You guys are already thinking, you've already done a Blue Jays rebuild. So this is not going to be a rebuild. What we're doing is we're going to be looking at the career for Vlad Jr. A simulation sort, like basically it's a simulation of his career. We're going to put him in the lineup day one and kind of look at how much he progresses in franchise. So if you guys want to see some more player progressions, player simulations, in MLB franchise let me know in the comment section down below subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content and as always hit that like button the more likes the more comments the more I know you guys are interested in future videos like this we can look at players like Tatis Jr we can look at other prospects you know there's Eloy Jimenez even players who are in the farm system like O'Neal Cruz a 6'6 shortstop in the Pirates organization we could look at pitchers you know there's Chris Paddock and so many other names that we could look at just to kind of see how well they develop how well you know like how good they get in franchise and just to kind of maybe compare you know real life to you know a simulation of video game so with that being said you guys can see we're gonna be talking about vlad jr he made his debut over the weekend um got a double in his first game kind of sparked that um rally for the blue Jays. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him into the majors like i said day one you can see he drops to a 73 overall, but looking at his stats, you know, a potential third baseman, 65 contact and 65 power versus righties, 75, 75 for contact and power versus lefties, really good hitting stats. But when you look at fielding and speed, not, not the greatest, but definitely should still contribute, you know, in this video. So looking at this, we're going to put him into that four spot. I really feel like this is the best chance to get the most out of him in terms of um, like basically getting, getting his hits, getting his RBIs, stuff like that. So um, I know we actually have to send somebody down, but uh, just looking at this video, I think it's, it's, it's just really fun just to kind of see, kind of sim so many years into the future and see how well players progress, see how well they do and stuff like that. So what we're going to do here is season one. We're going to take a stop. We're going to see how well he did his rookie year. Season five, we're going to take a look, you know, midway point through the simulation. And then that last season, season 10, we're going to see like just the growth, see the difference from season one to season two. Um, I think moving him into the lineup, making him a starter, put him back at that 77 overall. So we're looking at 77 overall season one. Let's see what happens at the end of this year, season five, and then obviously season 10. Catch you guys at the end of this season. Alrighty, so at the end of season one, you guys can see from a 77 overall to an 81. He's gone up three for contact um, versus righties, plus two for contact versus lefties, or contact versus, or power versus righties, power versus righties. Um, his contact versus lefties gone a little bit um, in the downward area. Oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? He's gone down two versus lefties in contact and plus 10 uh, power versus lefties. His vision's gone up. Got a little bit better in the fielding area. Not so much speed or anything, but he's gone up four overall. Let's take a look at his stats for the year. You know, 270 is in horrible. 24 home runs, 65 over, uh, 65 ribbies, 300, 325 on base percentage, a 467 slugging, and an OPS of 792. So overall, definitely a solid rookie season. You know, you already can tell he's the best player in the team. Let's take a look no awards i'm surprised he didn't win rookie of the year who run eloy eloy won rookie of the year i guess a little bit better average um pretty similar you know stats though home runs really similar rbis was really similar so i'm surprised that he uh he's somehow didn't win that but that is going to be season one you know just a quick little look into vlad's career so far his rookie season not too bad we'll definitely have to take a peek at season five kind of that midway point he'll be 25 26 years old at that point really hitting his prime so i'm kind of excited to see where he'll be at so let's get into it let's see how season five looks Alrighty, so i'm pausing before season five to show you this absolute just dis destruction that guerrero jr vlad jr has done this is season four He's already a 99 overall, but um, we just came to the league leaders. He had one of the best batting averages. He had um, the most 
home runs, RBIs, runs. It was um, slugging percentage and then OPS. He is unreal at this point. So awards, I'm assuming MVP. Yeah. Um, as well as a Hank Aaron award. So you guys can see his stats here at season four. He's only 23 years old. He is un, just unreal to think about. You guys can see his stat progression so far through the four seasons. It has been like just un, just crazy. What is what is he become? Like he's become an absolute god in the baseball world already, and he's 24. So um, I just quickly wanted to show you that because he is just. He's scary. Um, end of season five. He's still a 99. And I mean, I don't know how much better he can get hitting wise, but he's looking really good so far through his career. 171 home runs, 478 RBIs. He's a career 282 hitter with a 368 on base percentage. Like he is looking very good. I wonder if within the next five seasons, will he hit, you know, three, four, 500 home runs? It's going to be crazy to see. Um, I'm really inter interested to see how the next five years pan out. So quick little update there. Um, we did The Blue Jays didn't make the playoffs. It's only, they've only made it once throughout this, this time. So I want to see how that maybe that plays out to like morale. He'll start to get unhappy or something like that. But we'll have to wait and see. But so far through his career, 171 homers and 478 RBIs. All right. I'll see you guys, you know, when he's 30. That's kind of crazy to think about. Alrighty, so as you can see, this is actually season eight, and the Blue Jays won a World Series title for awards. You guys can see playoff MVP as well as World Series MVP. A 462 average, three home runs, and seven RBIs. So in season eight, Vlad gets, you know, you know, gets his gets his uh his winnings. So two more seasons to go. Let's see how it finishes out for this 10-year career. Alrighty, so after 10 seasons, here is Vlad Jr. You can see he started to decrease in rating, no longer a 99. This is the first season he hasn't been a 99 since the fourth season. So he was a 99 for, what, four full seasons? And then this last season, he was he's dropped a little bit. Still 29. I don't understand why he would decrease this much but um looking at his stats you guys will see here his last year of this simulation 34 home runs 105 rbis and a 293 average so a good year and that's why i'm not too sure why he's decreasing in rating over the years you guys can see he's basically been a 40 like home run hitter um about 100 rbis a season so he's been very consistent a good run producer and then throughout his career, 384 home runs and 1,043 RBIs. Definitely still could probably play for another, who knows, like six, seven years if you put him in the DH spot. You know, 284 hitter in the average. And then let's just see quickly how like the playoffs play out just because he may be able to add a couple more home runs to his total. So we'll see what happens. So let's see if he added any in the playoffs. He added three more. So he finished with a total of what? 387. Um, since, you know, obviously home runs are home runs. But that is how this 10 year career simulation is going to play out for Vlad Jr. Finishes at a 95, was a 99 for over half this, this simulation. So, I mean, he is unreal. Definitely a player I would pick up if you can. Or even just start with the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays have phenomenal prospects to build around. But that's not really what I'm trying to talk about. We're here to talk about Vlad Jr. And you can see he is a definite pickup for a third baseman. I mean, to be honest, you could probably even put him at first base. And it would work just as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. That's another way to show me that you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys want to see more of these, let me know future players that you would like to see. You know, we have Tatis Jr., there's pitchers we could do. There's a lot of other players that can be done. Eloy Jimenez, stuff like that. So let me know down below. Um, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.